Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I'm on the other side of town. Well, the east side of town. It's kind of a new area off Powers. But years ago, Salvation Army shut all their stores and they built this. And so this is the only Salvation Army. So I don't make it over here too often, but coming over here for something else. So I might as well hit the Salvation Army. And then a couple blocks down the street is a Goodwill. I'll see you inside. So here we go, back in the corner, getting a cart kind of give you an overview. It's a pretty big one, definitely. And they do have jewelry and collectibles over in that area. And it looks like their dressing rooms are open. So starting with the jewelry case, everything in there looks kind of new. Bunch of little cutie pies from Claire's. Aww. I don't see anything, you guys. Let's see what's in the bottom. Oh, a bunch of Frank Oma. A lot of Frank Oma. Find the jewelry bag. Well, that's a little one. $75. Our jewelry bags in this town have gone crazy. Goodwill sells them for a hundred bucks now. A little bit bigger than that, granted. And they don't even put them out. And there's people that come in there and get them. And they'll give you the stink eye if you try to get one before they get there to pick it up. <laughs> I stay out of that mess. For now, I'm going to bypass clothes and do hard goods first. So, let's hit that. Well, that's a cute little vase. Oh, and blue tags are half off. Cute little vase with like the mercury on the bottom. Hi, hi, you guys. <laughs> you can see me. I think I'll take that. Half price, a dollar something. Okay, first item. Plastic. A little display. I see some acrylic back there. Oh, no, that's glass. Oh my goodness. 474. That might be flashed on there though. No, I don't think so. What is that like Polish glass or something? 474. That's heavy and pretty though. Let me stick it in the cart. I might do that. That might be something good for the booth. Oh, teacups. Cat loves her teacups, but I just haven't taken the time to tackle that learning curve. I'll do it someday. I do like that blue though. Let's see whose it is. I can't quite read it. I might get those if there's more. This is kind of fun since I haven't been here forever. Threshold. Well, that's cute. They put like a golf peg back there. Probably should have put two of them, but that's cute. Nutcracker, 2009. <laughs> oh, little Asian baby shoes. I'm guessing on that. Look at all that fake food. That's half price too. I think you can sell fake food on eBay pretty well. Onions and fruit. It's these are that interest me the most. And then half price too, right? Okay, well since I'm looking this way, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little wine holder. Just a brunette and a blonde with an unbreakable bond. It's sparkly. I need to back up. What is that? 12 1224. Uh, 
Lots and lots of bubbles in there, but not the like controlled Bulacante type. Wait a minute, let me see the bottom of that again. Hmm. I don't think so, you guys. I don't think so for that price. I don't think it's high quality enough. Okay, back over here. Where were we? Oh boy, there's some 80 Southwest. That looks new, but it's interesting. It's kind of an interesting set, isn't it? I'm trying not to go too fast. There's some more fake stuff. Let me see what that is. Cucumbers and lettuce. I'll put it up with the other ones. And I want to look at this. Might be Italian or Polish. Could just be Mexican. Okay, there it is. Mexico. I'd think about that if it was in a little better shape. It's only $274. little blue shelf that's going to be new but at first glance and you know until you yeah there it is at home from the at home store down the street at first glance you're like oh but once closer you get you can tell that it's new well Wait a minute, that's kind of a cool little, we're landlocked, but that's kind of a cool little piece back there. Fishtail hooks and the sea. But I would want to put that in my booth and like I said, we're landlocked, so. Some art, Jim Beam or some kind of liquor bottle. You'd be surprised they don't sell that well, and you think they would, because some of them are so cool looking. That's not going to be old, but let's double check it. Yeah, it's pretty though. It's just not the quality that you want. <laughs> I just watched that the other day for like the 10th time. It's one of my daughter's favorites, Napoleon Dynamite. Sometimes when I'm tagging merchandise, um, I like to just put on things where I, I've seen them before, but I like them. That way I don't have to worry that I missed anything. I save all my good shows, you know, from when I'm really paying attention. Oh, there's another one, and there's Pedro himself. That's funny. A lot of electronics. <laughs> Blue tag, half price, two something. I'm kind of tempted by that. That's good for like the Hollywood Regency, like a bathroom. Put your, um, put your, you know, washcloths in. I'm tempted by that. And I know this is new, but it's so pretty. Isn't that so pretty with what they did? It's a little sloppy job though. Six twenty-four. Or, but that's pretty. Better pass though. It's a little too new, a little too sloppy. That's new glass, you know, like from Home Goods and such. So is that. Okay, let's turn around. I did look at the orange, you guys. There was nothing over there. Let's turn around. Oh my gosh, I see it. Look at that. More safety pin art, 324. Now look at the colors on that. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors on that. That's going in the collection for the shock and awe expose reveal <laughs> of the ones that I've thrifted and been gifted. You guys are gonna love it. Yellow end cap. Oh look, smiley face post-its. Half price, a dollar something, that's cute. Here's a vintage piece, 774. I couldn't tell you right offhand who made it, but you know, like probably like Indiana or something like that, one of the more affordable glass companies. But that color just doesn't sell that great. So I'm gonna pass. 
USA. That's vintage too. Vintage pottery. That might be a Deneen pottery mug. It is. Like I said, certain places and certain companies, these sell for pretty good money. That's kind of a funny one. Panama City Beach. Oh, I know someone who lives there. Florida. Broken Egg Cafe. Especially their Death Wish Coffee. They're doing the Death Wish Coffee mugs. I know I say that, but I'm going to remind and remind because that's some good money. Somebody put a Thomas Kincaid like picture on that. Let's see what's behind. Okay. That's Sango from like, I think the 90s, early 2000s, that piece there. The Black Isle. Someone possibly upgraded. It could have came like that, 374. It's on marble. It could have come like that or they replaced it with this ashtray but guess what but I like it especially for under four dollars okay oh I added this I have no clue but this just looks really old doesn't it look at it got a little cherry on it I'm gonna take a chance on that because I think that's old Oops, now I'm facing the brown side. I'm going to turn back around. I want to do this rest of this black. I thought that was like a modern mortar and pestle, like from Target or something. Nice clock. Just plain silver and black. I do a lot of that. You know, I share my house with my man. And... You know, I luckily my taste and his match pretty well. You know, so I don't have a lot of girly, girly stuff. But I like the 70s vibes. So 60s, 70s and mid-mod. And so I can mix that in with the kind of stuff he likes too. And we're both comfortable. I don't see anything. Check some more end caps purple end cap, hand painted plate, mm, might be on like a Limoges blank or something. But. Now this is going to be new, but it's pretty, 474, that's pretty with the stained glass. I can work a few pieces if they're of new, you know. Again, I have to watch my ratio because I came in as a art glass and vintage dealer and antiques I can have, of course. So I have to watch my ratio, but if it's a cool collectible, you're cute. Tony, you made that and I think I like what you did with the eyes too. <laughs> How much was that? 274, I like it. Okay, now we have a green and a blue end cap again, and then we'll go into the middle of the ones we missed. So here's another one of those. And 774, but green again is the color. But you see when it comes to this one with that, I think I can call this English hobnail, I think, with the points. Maybe they need to be separated more. Maybe I should just call this diamond point. But it's 974. But that I would probably do even though it's green. That's pretty. Make sure I don't miss anything back there. <laughs> okay. Let's go over and do that blue one and then we'll dive into the middle some more. I think these are Libby, aren't they? No. What does that say? I can't read it, but 
not what I'm interested in. There's a little piece of art glass. Purple, modern, not very expensive. See, they, did, they polished it, but they didn't like bevel the edge. And if it would have a bubble in it, that'd be even better. You know, like the common Polish pottery puts that little bubble. Okay. Nothing that I think I want to try to resell. Good deals for everybody though. Lots of furniture. We'll do that next. Okay, white. <laughs> I bought a, that black swan. So I don't know if I showed you guys. Okay, it's like a Hagerish black swan. It's about this tall and it takes two pen. It's got two pen holders. So I'm looking for some cool pens to put in it. Those are white, but it would still be cool because they're swans. But I need, I guess they don't have to be matching. They could be coordinating, but that would be kind of cool. Two pens in there with the um, feathers, right? Excuse me. White is a hard aisle to find some goodies. It is. Made in Poland. That was a little bit more elaborate, maybe leaning into Art Deco or Art Nouveau. I would consider something like that. All right, turning around, see what's behind us. Oh, I never did finish talking about that plate, did I? But see, something like this, see, that's pretty with the bright colors. Josephine, Bavaria, Favorite, but that's kind of pretty. The gold still looks good on it. I think I'm going to take a chance on this. I don't have a lot of this kind of stuff in my booth because I just, you know, I'm more in 70s and as you guys know by now. <laughs> So I lean more toward that kind of stuff than art glass, but that's beautiful. I think I'll try it. Hi Shih Tzu, my Highway would love you. Highway is actually a Shai Chi. Um, Shih Tzu father, and he looks mostly Shih Tzu, and Chihuahua mom, if you can believe that. She, he is the puppy of a rescue dog they found up and down I-25 in Denver. And then she was pregnant and had babies. The two girls died, but the four boys, there's another cute plate. The four boys made it. See that? See how colorful that is? 324 and 324, I don't know. I kind of like that. Okay, a chip. That makes up my mind for me, but I'm not, I kind of like that kind. Anyways, and so the Facebook or online community named the boys Denver Highway and Freeway because of the situation. <laughs> and Pike's Peak Palm, Peaks and Peak and Palm, Pike's Peak and Palm, okay. Pike's Peak and then Pekingese and Palm Rescue, okay. I can't remember how you word that, <laughs> but they took them even though it's not what they do. And I had to put in an application and I sweated because as soon as I saw his picture, I knew that was my dog. I was looking for one and I got him and after they he was old enough and they got all his shots and microchipped my baby came home I took the whole day off of work well look there are more of those I need to find out I need to try to figure out what that says if these are repops or new I feel like they might be older right because of that whatever it says okay I'll be right back in one second I think I know why I was having trouble reading it besides that it's a birthmark you can barely see it's um Mexican glass and so I'll have to pop up a picture but they're worth maybe about six dollars a piece I think I will go back and look at that other one and these don't have a price so I'll look at the other one and maybe it's a good price for the whole set but I will do that glass strawberry there's some lucite. Oh, you know what? I could probably open those up and put in whatever I wanted. 
Lennox. Is that tail broken? Wait a minute, it might not be. No, it's not. Well, that's cute. It'd be cute to send a cat, but needs to be two of them so Brad can have one too. Okay, now that's pretty. Okay, clear glass, but this is old. It is etched, look, butterflies and daisies. That makes it a winner in my book. 524. See the butterflies? That's cut glass. So I'll look it up when I get home. Okay, this seriously was not here a minute ago, so she must have put it out. It's not safety pin art, but it goes with it. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. That's a crazy color for me, but look. It's a plant hanger. Oh my gosh. It's like those macrame plant hangers. I don't know how much it is, and I don't know if I care. You know who might like this? Kate, follow that bug vintage. I told you guys about her, what, a couple months ago, and a lot of you went over and followed. Thank you. Plus, you know, she's a friend of Jocelyn. She used to work for Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady. Her channel is growing quickly, and she is just adorable and so much fun. Her personality is kind of, I really don't want to say quirky, um, because she's also sophisticated. Like, I have a word fetish, and some of the words she uses to describe things and describe her life just tickle the heck out of me so um, I'm not quite sure let's just say she's eclectic okay but anyways that would probably tickle her oh I didn't get to go down this aisle because somebody was there mug life mug life <laughs> that's new but I like the rainbow colors how much is it well, wait a minute. First, let's see how many, if there's more. No. Oh, there's two of them. Those are just kind of fun. I know they're new. Now, nah, I better watch my ratio at the booth. Seriously. I better watch my ratio. Ray Dunn copy. Yep. <laughs> These are sold at Dollar Tree. They didn't even bother to indent it. I don't understand why they couldn't come up with something a little different. I don't see anything. Okay, but if I have to buy one, wait a minute. I think I might see one. That's cute. Oh, darn it. Darn, it's personalized. That's a cute one though. Gotta pick one. Maybe the tiger. Nah, let's see what this is. That's kind of cool. I think that's Princess Cruise Lines. Oh, this is gonna be a little hard here today. Lexus. Okay, if I have to, I would choose Either the Lexus and put it on eBay for someone who drives a Lexus or those two rainbow cups. But I'm going to pass on both of them today, but that's just the Mug Life section segment. Oh, wait a minute. I might update. No, I'll stick with my choices. Or those four blue cups of the Mexican glass. Yes. Well, I did go and get the other one from that display. There's no price on it either. I actually think I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Maybe if there was some more like cream or sugar or little saucers, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. We're in the furniture department now. This has no price on it, but I love it. It's kind of cool. I have a great dining room table though already, but ah, oh, that is so nice. I wonder how much that is. It's big too. See the treatment on the bottom? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a marriage. Yeah, <laughs> that's a marriage. 
What is happening? <laughs> or either they did... Wait a minute. Maybe they finished this and just... Okay, I don't know. And I'm open to small pieces of furniture for the second booth, as always. I don't have a lot in there right now as far as little pieces of furniture. It all sold very well. These don't open. I guess they're just end tables. Oh, my bad. Okay, actually, those look like they came from, you know, like Home Goods or one of them type stores. Now, well, my friend Greg, Rocky Mountain Resale, you guys also know him as our shot caller. He has found some really good deals in here. Some kind of crazy tractor sprinkler he pulled off of back there. Would he get like a couple hundred bucks for that? With this being a military town, never buy exercise equipment new. Just hit the thrift stores because... They always dump that kind of stuff when they have to move on. There's a basket of scarves. Let's start with the easy. Let's see whose this is. New Delhi polyester handmade. Okay. Holy vey. What's that one? The president's. Oh, <laughs> that might be older. Those scarves must be one price. Just looking for just looking for silk or hand rolled edges. Okay. Yes, I'm doing this like this. <laughs> yes, I am. Cause come on now. That's not a hand roll. Yeah, that might be a hand rolled edge. Let's see. Rotary opens opportunity. That was pretty though. Not too old. I just sold on eBay. I've had it for a while, I'll admit. Um, because, you know, I keep up on the trends and a lot of the influencers that change or dictate or promote the trends they're very fashion forward and sometimes it takes a while for the general public so to speak I'm using that term loosely sorry um, to catch up but I bought some really cool vintage scarves in mid mod and um, sold another one off of eBay $22 all right let me clean up my mess <laughs> I decided to pass on that, but I put it up because it's cool. Maybe somebody else will catch a vibe on it and buy it. I don't see anything in that rack. Let's see what we got here. Okay, no cool vintage scarves for me today. Breezing through clothing a little bit, but you see all the racks and racks these are just long sleeve and short sleeve tops the way i do clothing unless i'm 100 percent in clothing mode there's a sturgis black hill is i typically just look at the fabric what is trending what's quality what might be vintage colors i like such as this <laughs> um, otherwise unless you're doing a dedicated clothing day you can eat up all your time so this is why I don't film clothing a lot. Plus the hanger. The hanger screechy. So I just kind of look at fabric. You kind of know what's not, what doesn't look all pilly. What's trending. Express is always a good brand though. Even their vintage Express is usually good. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's adorable. That's a blue tag too. That's adorable, actually. Just not wholeheartedly in the mood. Only if it's something real high end, okay? I have so much clothing. I need to take a break and get it up on eBay. So this is how I do it. So I don't see any interesting fabrics. 
And some of it, like I, you can tell the date of fabrics. And plus, when you've looked at enough clothing, you kind of know what it is just by the fabric. You kind of know, okay, that's a label that doesn't really sell that well. So I'm very sorry for those of you that love to do the clothing. Here's another Express. Express has been around for a long time. And how you can tell it's worthy, even though it's not super expensive, you know, they're at the mall. They've been there since I was a teenager. Is even their older stuff that's in the thrift store is good quality fabric, like not too ruined. Even though people don't always aren't always careful about their washing of their good stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super like my stuff just gets washed on a quick wash. It's not like I get that get it that dirty. I just want to freshen it up. And I rarely dry things. Like I'll put it in the dryer, maybe with a dryer sheet. And put it on like delicate not air dry but you know like the very lowest heat and not for very long kind of take out any wrinkles and then I hang it up that's what ruins our clothing <laughs> I'm also wanting some more any of these um, sheer shirts that I talked about in my last video See, I can see the fabric. Got stuff on it, though. Let's see what that is. Athleisure. I know what athleisure fabric looks like. I might pull out something that maybe has some bolo potential vibes, right? So, if you're wanting to do clothing. Trust me, after a while, you don't have to go through everything. You can save time. This is a clothing segment. It's just not a lot of fun unless I find something super cool that I usually show you guys. Romans. Now, I will say one thing about Romans. Romans does a lot of large sizes and they send out catalogs. Their stuff is okay quality, about like going to Target or, to or Kohl's. But they do try to keep up on the trends. In for the larger sizes so it's kind of odd but I will pick up some Romans I will oops I see a thin material let's see it's a cow neck though yes and it's half price see how super thin that is it's I know I said I have to wear a tank top underneath of course or because look or double them up well that is doubled hang on there see if it's single um but if you double layer it you're okay but still because they're so thin they're it's like wearing air even when you are wearing two of them so comfortable and as i've gotten older i am all about the comfort i'm not sacrificing <laughs> i'm not a fashion victim at all i try to be fashionable of course there's a hurley shirt See, like how did I know I don't know you after a while you just know the fabrics and the stitching styles I'm not loving it though more Oklahoma been there family in Oklahoma Hannah's part Choctaw born in Texas remember okay so um, I just kind of did that to tell you if you are doing clothing or want to do clothing this is how I do it and if you're new you will get to that point too we're like just running down you know I picked out what I wanted pulled out a Hardy shirt without even seeing the tag just by the stitching and the fabric right this is where you might find some cutesy boho stuff like in this color section See, this is why I don't do a lot of clothing. I just feel like you guys would be clicking off by now. There's <laughs> okay, there's the prints. All right. I think I'll breeze through these myself. I'm really happy with everything I have. Oh, I threw these in half price. You could who can't always use more files these are Revlon so that's good enough I do want to double check and make a firm decision on that and the food 
Let me see, how much was that? Oh, it's a blue, yeah, okay, sale. This is one thing I'm not quite sure of. Okay, a little update. I don't know who made it for them, but this is Telefloral, and it is, I think it is Flash. I saw some other pictures online. It weighs a ton. Whoever made it for them, you know, did a pretty good job. I see it in other colors. They only sell for about $12, $15. So I better pass on that. So I'm pretty happy with all that for sure. Especially, especially this stuff here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that just tickles me. Anyways, um, I found a mirror. So I hope you guys had a little bit of fun and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much.